Well, more than 20 million students in the U.S. will head to a college campus this fall. Unfortunately, even America's safest college towns experience some forms of crime. While safety is a priority for all colleges and universities, there are other helpful ways to keep yourself safe. Rick Tupper is with Augustana University's Campus Security, and he's got some advice for students and parents on how to stay safe on campus. Rick, good to have you today. Yeah, thank you for the invite. You know, that's, I'm sort of thinking about this and questions we're going to talk about today, and I'm going, you know, it's really a sad state of affair that we have to talk about these things today, because, but it, unfortunately, it's just the world we live in. It is. And so, it's, I mean, well, we mentioned it, though, it's, you know, students and parents, but I mean, it's really anybody within the campus culture has to be thinking about these things today. It's not just students anymore. That's right. You know, as we look at a campus, it's, it's really a community inside of another community, and it's a 24-hour operation. I mean, students are up all night. Uh, we've got people on campus all day, so it's, it's really a very vibrant environment, and that vibrancy actually draws the outside world in as well, and not everybody comes in for the right reason. Yeah, exactly. So when you're meeting with students for the first time, um, how, do, what, how does the conversation start? You, you know, it's, it's, we go back to the roots of safety that they've all grown up with in high school and, and elementary school, that, you know, how to keep yourself safe, but then we, we need to go on from there. Now that you're away from mom and dad um, and you're away for the first time for our freshmen, living in a residence hall, what does that look like? Living with 300 other people that you don't know necessarily, how do you do that? And you might come from small town USA, and uh, how do you keep yourself safe? And that is simple things like, you know, keep your door locked. Um, you know, we go through the usual don't walk alone, walk in lighted areas. Uh, but, you know, but it's greater than that. It's really trying to get them to be a part of the campus community. Because you know, I need them all to be their eyes and ears for us. Mm -hmm. um, there's no such thing as a police problem. It's a community problem. So I need the community to be a part of keeping the campus safe. Is, you mentioned it about, um, you know, people up all hours moving around. There's, there's things to do on a college campus. But is there still some differences between the college campus life and maybe for that incoming freshman from the communities they came from, no matter if it's a large or small mm -hmm. community? There is. I mean, it, I kind of fall back to the, the vibrancy of a campus and the other people that get drawn into it. Um, at any given time of the day, it, there's activity going on on campus. So where, um, you know, when I talk to other uh, police chiefs, I, I'll use a community, of, say, of 3,000 people, but now imagine your entire population is 18 to 25 years old. Mm -hmm. How does that change yeah. how you keep yeah. the campus safe? And it does. It will change it. So you have to keep people engaged and involved with keeping it safe. And I know staying safe, you mentioned it is pretty elementary, but yet it's not. So let's get into some of the personal safety tips, the basics that we should be thinking about or what you're talking to some of the students. So you're talking about working in groups. And so talk about that. So, I mean, you, you, you're walking with a partner or groups of three, four, whatever, right? Yeah, so, I mean, as we have people out engaged, whether they're jogging and running, it's easy for us to get distracted, you know, with people wearing headsets and, and trying to get away from the rest of the world. But you really have to make sure that you stay alert to what your surroundings are. You know, if there's somebody coming up behind you, traffic, uh, those kinds of things. And, again, when we talk about the isolated dark areas, just make sure that you know your route. Um, that you're going to, you know where you're going, and you let people know where you're going and when mm -hmm. you're going to come back. So that if something does happen, people know what to look for and where to look for you. You know, and on our campus, we do have uh, emergency poles that you can push to get help. Once you activate that, a blue strobe activates and it, dis it connects right to our dispatch center. So then you can get the help right where you need it. You, one of the things I noticed too is people are wearing headphones all the time walking around today. It's like you shouldn't, why shouldn't you have those in? You know, it's a distraction. So, I mean, even when you bury your head in the cell phone as you're walking, it's a distraction. People that want to do bad things are looking for people that are distracted because it's easier for them to steal something from you or assault you. Yeah. So if you, if you walk with a purpose and you show that I'm aware of what's around me, that person that's looking for that, uh, that victim may look at the next person. And then it's our trusting Midwestern nature. It you is. Like, it, it is. That's where, you know, even like in our residence halls, it's all uh, key card access. But we're all so darn nice that if anybody wants to come in, we hold the door for them. Yeah. And it's, uh, we call it tailgating. We uh, try to tell students, let, don't let people tailgate into your building because yeah. you don't know who you just let into your building. Right. That's a good one. So you talked about some of the things from a technology perspective that you're doing on campus. Uh, so what are other things that maybe you've done from a security perspective or other colleges or universities have done to help students feel protected? or have mm -hmm. 
access to help if, if something happens? You know, in our world, it's all about communication and how fast you can get that communication out to them. So we have what we call an emergency notification system that I can send a message to the masses with one push of a button. Um, you, there's places that have apps. You know, look at the campuses that you go to to see if they have safety apps. That, you know, is a way that they can track your location. So if you need help, they can get you help right away. Um, you know, the, the uh, like I said, the main thing is communication. If you can't if you don't know how to keep yourself safe, yeah. how can you? Yeah. So we're trying to provide that information. So let's get into the dorm room piece of it, too, because you mentioned that of getting into the doors and being safety. But there's other things from a safety perspective, too, that you need to. I mean, you're not completely safe once you're in that dorm room, either. No, yeah. So, you know, when, when you look at a, a residence hall, you know, you might have 300 people in there. And, and you don't know what each one of those brings to the game. Mm -hmm. And that's where, if it's relationship issues, those kind of things, it's kind of like when I talk about tailgating, you don't know who you're letting in. So we encourage students, you know, don't prop doors. Uh, when you're in your residence hall, make sure that you have the door locked. You know, when you go to bed at night and you sleep, lock your door so somebody just can't walk in. Um, it's a, a little community again, and you, you're a part of that. Yeah. And then uh, the last thing about you've got cars, you've got other things, uh, personal belongings that you should keep dialed in on. Yeah, parking lots. You know, I didn't realize parking would be a part of my life, uh, but parking is yeah. important. Yeah. <laughs> and but parking lots draw a different group of people as well. Yeah. And that's if you have things in plain view. Uh, there's people out there that will, will will steal it from you. And we're talking mostly about the physical assaulting, but, but you know, there's the personal safety too. Happens like scams and and things like that too that you become victims of today you know as we all live in such a technology-based world every day there's a new scam out there and college students aren't immune to that every year we see new scams mm -hmm. that they, they'll call and get the you know like the IRS scam but now it's about your student loan and if you don't pay you know we're gonna take your student loan away yeah. from you so we're always trying to push information out to students about here's the new scam uh, don't provide personal yeah, information. Right. I mean, it's again, yeah, they're away from home for the first time. There's a lot of stresses in, in college, and now you throw something at them, and, and they really hope to find that person that's kind of uh, willing to give that information. Yeah. Uh, so just be very cautious in what you give out. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Be safe. Good luck this fall with, the, with the, your campus yeah, stuff. Yeah, thank so. you.